This is a video to help you when your washer has no signs of life from the buttons and you cannot enter field service mode. This is, this is uh, uh, information that's on the manual that comes in the lid. Okay, when you get into your washer you take this lid down on the front. This happens to be a stacked washer-dryer combination, but it it applies to the to the washers that do not use the timer switch. This is a simple switch that every position has a different resistance value. There's really no mechanical timer connected to this whatsoever. And these are simple micro momentary on switches. Okay. When you have a 12 position switch that inputs only changes in resistance, you have a a bit of a computer involved and this is a computer controlled washing machine when you cannot enter field service mode what do you do basically all you can do is check the inputs to see if the inputs are correct now this is my voltmeter setup with alligator clips and pins you need, you need pins to back probe Here is where the 120 volts AC comes in, so set your meter on AC and check for 120 volts AC here. That's power in. The power is changed to DC and regulated down because computers like 5 volts DC. This 3 pin connector is connected to the pressure sensor which tells the computer how much water is in the drum. On one side is power, on the opposite side is ground, the middle is sensor return signal. So with this setup you check for DC 5 volts across the outer two. If you have it, it means you have power. If you have one, of course you won't have that unless you have the 110. So then you check your, your lid switch. Your lid switch, of course, tells the computer the lid is closed. It will not enable operation with the lid open. It's a, it's a magnetic reed switch. The magnet's in the lid. The lid switch is up here. It's a two-pinner. And you put it on ohms. You open the switch, you open the lid, close the lid, you see the, the continuity come and go. So you've demonstrated your lid switch is good. You've demonstrated power in. You've demonstrated that there is regulated voltage operating your sensor. So at least some of the board has some life to it. So why doesn't it come on? Well, at this point, there's nothing else you can check. So you condemn the board. And... There's a new board right there, problem solved.